And we're back. <laughs> uh, well, Super Bulky is back after a very long hiatus. Um, we we basically haven't done anything Super Bulky or online content related for the last year. Um, as we've been navigating our way through the COVID-19 pandemic, we had some decisions to make here around the Twisted Skein and with the Super Bulky channel. And uh, while well, a lot of people towards the beginning of the pandemic they moved all of their content online and you know, Zoom meetings started cropping up everywhere. Uh, we thought you know, maybe we don't need to throw our hat into that ring. And instead, here at the Twisted Skein, we've been focusing all our effort into getting our online shop up and created, which we have done. Uh, in case you haven't visited us there, uh, you can see our whole selection of everything, the whole shop up at thetwistedskein.com. Uh, and that was a trial. Um, it had been, since we opened the shop, it had been in our three-year plan, our five-year plan, to get a fully operational website up and running. But you know, while you're running a, a brick-and-mortar shop, it's hard to squeeze everything in. And um, just the circumstances of, of closing our doors for a while let us fast-forward all of that and uh, it's really been great. People have received the online shop well, uh, and, and we've been shipping things all over the country, which is really gratifying. But we haven't done much in the online content world. I know a lot of people sort of immediately got on Zoom, started putting things out there, and a lot of people were getting kind of Zoom fatigue. We were staring at our computers all day. People are working from home. Uh, and we just decided to concentrate our efforts into this area rather than that area. But now things are slowly but surely reaching some semblance of normalcy and Super Bulky is back. So thank you very much for subscribing to us. If you've subscribed since our last videos, the sock knit along we had um, last year uh, was the last big set of things we did. Um, and Thank you for sticking around and waiting it out. And now we're back. So um, we're going right back into the, the super bulky world and the uh, you know, functioning uh, drop in any time knitting shop or yarn shop world with a knit along. Um, so while the pandemic has been in full swing, I've knit a lot of sweaters, more sweaters than I've ever knit in a short period of time before, because I've never been much of a garment knitter. I'm more of an accessories knitter. I like to make shawls. I like to make like home goods, little, little things. Um, but I don't tend to make a lot of garments or at least I didn't. Um, but I finally made my first Franco.com sweater. I'll in the comments uh, section below in the description, We'll link to our interview that we did uh, a few years ago with Frank Jernigan, who developed Franco.com and a method for making seamless set-in sleeves in a sweater. And uh, Frank has very, very kindly uh, agreed to let us host a knit-along to encourage more people to use his uh, sweater-making website and, and knit these awesome sweaters. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what that is and what we're going to be doing. Um, Franco.com, uh, developed by Frank Jernigan, is a website where you can create a custom sweater pattern in any size using any yarn. Uh, and you're guaranteed, as long as you get your measurements right and you measure your swatches correctly, you're guaranteed a, a perfectly fitting sweater in a number of fits and sizes. Um, in the coming weeks, we'll take a look at some features of his website and I'll give you a little tour. But this sweater that I'm wearing is a Franco sweater, knit in my size, obviously, I'm wearing it, and knit in a bulky weight yarn. I was getting something like 10 stitches to four inches in this yarn. Um, this is a big from Oink Pigments and the sweater fits great and I love it. And being a person of you know my size, I'm never gonna knit myself like a fingering or sport weight sweater. I'll be buried in it half finished. But 
I was able to put in my measurements, put in the measurements of my swatches and the yarn that I wanted to use and got out a perfectly fitting sweater. So that's the appeal of Franco.com. You can make a sweater out of any yarn you like, sized for any person. Um, here I have, this is a Franco sweater knit in a small child size in a worsted weight yarn. And uh, it's just great. The, the patterns are very, very easy to knit. They're simple and straightforward. And like I said, fully, fully customizable. So it's cool. Uh, this sweater here is also a Franco sweater. Now the Franco pattern that the website generates is a simple, plain sweater like this. It's a, um, there are a few different neck options. This is a crew neck sweater. This is a saddle shoulder sweater. Those are two of the options on franco.com. But the pattern as it is spit out by the, the program is for a simple, unadorned, plain sweater of the type you choose. But in addition to being a customized pattern, the patterns are then fully customizable. Any knitting skill you have or you want to practice, you can incorporate into your Franco sweater. So despite being a pullover style pattern, I was able to make a cardigan. Uh, this entire thing was knit in the round and then steaked open, meaning I, I knit it all as a two and then cut up the front and put on the button band uh, because it's much easier to knit things like stranded knitting in the round. And this is one of the advantages of Franco system. So, Frank developed what is called the Franco seamless set in sleeve method. And only this little part of the sweaters right up here uh, around the neck and the shoulders is knit flat. Everything else is knit in the round. And there are a lot of knitting techniques that are much easier to knit if you're knitting in the round. Stranded knitting, um, traveling stitches, cables. Though these things are often very easy to see develop or easy to work in the round rather than flat. And in a traditional set and sleeve sweater, you're generally knitting either in four pieces, a front, a back, and two sleeves and seaming them up, or in some cases knitting the body in the round and then knitting the sleeves and the, the front and back above the armholes flat. But with Franco's method, you're knitting almost the entire sweater in the round. Just the, this part here on the top of the shoulders is knit flat. Everything else in the round. So I could have started this stranded knitting way up here if I had wanted to, and it would have been very, very easy to make. So there are some really great benefits to using Franco's system. One being it's easy to put in knitting skills that are difficult to work flat. Two is if you enjoy knitting but hate seaming, uh, set in sleeve shoulders are known to be one of the better fits in terms of having no extra fabric at the underarm. Um, most like t-shirts, things like that are made with a set in sleeve type. It's the type of uh, armhole and, and shoulder join here. That's what a set in sleeve is. And they just fit very well. Um, other types of sweaters have their own style, but often have bulkier thing, drop shoulder sweaters. Um, yoke sweaters often have a lot of extra fabric in the underarm, but set in sleeves don't. The trick is they're often a pain to seam. There's no seaming here. Um, there are some skills you need. You need to be able to pick up stitches confidently. Uh, there are a couple increases you need to know, a couple cast-ons you need to know, but it's limited. There's only four or five skills that you need to work on. Really, if you can work basic increases and knit and purl, you can confidently start one of these sweaters. So what we're gonna be doing in our next video, I'm going to give you a pattern for a swatch that we'll work through that has all the skills you will need to make one of these sweaters. We'll have a little swatch design that will have all the cast-ons you need, it will have all the increases you need, and we'll practice picking up stitches both from stitches to stitches and from stitches to rows. So 
if you watch our next video that will be coming out soon, you'll have an opportunity to practice all those things and see if it's something you want to work on, uh, as well as showing you some more examples. I will say that if you're the sort of knitter who doesn't like swatching and it, it's sort of not for you, uh, this might not be the greatest project for you because you do have to swatch and you do have to swatch accurately. But you only need to make a swatch about this size. Because the pattern is fully customized, you need to have an accurate count of your stitches and rows gauge because that's how the program will know what, how many stitches that you need to, to knit in order to get the sweater the size you want. Um, but it's, it's very simple. The, it does the math for you so long as you make confident measurements. And um, really, it, it couldn't be easier in that way. It's just, you know, an hour of swatching, blocking your swatch nicely, taking some good measurements, and the franco.com website does the rest. So we're very excited to be back in the swing of things here. Um, we, we went through local yarn store day this year, and it was great to see everyone back as, as more people are getting out and doing things. And people were very excited to be here. It was fun to see them. And so we're really excited to do something again, uh, to get Super Bulky back up and running. Not that I ever do any running, but um, it's wonderful. So here we are, a Franco knit along coming soon and more super bulky videos coming up the pipeline. So if you haven't checked out our website, that is thetwistedskein.com. You can see our entire selection of yarns there. Maybe you can browse and find something you'd like to make yourself a custom sweater out of. Uh, our reopening for regular business hours is coming on the 30th of April. On April 30th, we'll be open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays uh, from noon to four. And then we'll see how things go here in Kern County, California, and work towards reopening for our regular business week. So we're still kind of playing it safe, uh, being tentative about our reopening, but we're getting there. And thank you so much. It's great to be back, and we'll see you soon.